Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're excited as I am about UEVR, the amazing new mod that converts regular PC games into VR, then this video is for you. In this beginner's guide, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started with UEVR. From compatible headsets to troubleshooting tips, we've got you covered. So strap on your headset and let's dive in. What is UEVR and what you need? UEVR, created by the developer PreyDog, is a mod that takes advantage of the Unreal game engine to convert traditional flat-screen games into VR. It currently works with over 600 Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5 games, allowing you to experience your favorite titles in immersive virtual reality. To use UEVR, you'll need a compatible VR headset like the Quest 3, Quest 2, or any Steam VR compatible headset, a powerful gaming PC, software like Questlink, Airlink, Virtual Desktop, or Steam VR to connect your headset to your PC, a compatible Unreal Engine game from platforms like Steam, Epic Game Store, etc. Check the compatibility list to see which games are confirmed working. I'd also recommend starting with graphics settings turned down low in case you need to troubleshoot performance issues. Downloading and setting up UEVR The first step is to download the latest version of the UEVR injector executable. This can be found on the official UEVR GitHub page under the Releases section. Download the zip folder, extract it somewhere easy to access on your PC like your desktop or documents folder, and take note of the file path. Before attempting to run the injector, you may receive a warning from your antivirus or Windows Defender about an unrecognized program. This is because the injector edits game memory in real time, which can seem suspicious. To allow access, you'll need to explicitly exclude the UEVR folder in your antivirus software. I definitely recommend verifying UEVR is safe by checking community feedback before running unknown software though. With those preparations complete, launch your chosen compatible Unreal Engine game through Steam, Epic Game Store, etc. Once you've reached the main menu, Alt plus Tab over to your UEVR injector app. In the drop-down menu, find and select the currently running games process. Next, choose whether you want to use OpenXR or OpenVR as your VR runtime. OpenXR generally offers better performance for newer GPUs, while OpenVR maintains broader hardware compatibility. If you're not sure, try OpenXR first. Finally, click the inject button and watch your game magically transform before your eyes into a fully immersive VR experience. Basic controls and customization. Once successfully injected, UEVR features an extensive in-game overlay menu accessible by pressing the insert key. This menu includes handy options for recentering your play space, adjusting floor height to match your real-world stance, and controlling the virtual camera. While most games will automatically work with gamepads without issue, the level of motion controller support varies. Some titles allow limited hand presence using touch controllers, but most will require playing with an Xbox or PlayStation gamepad. Expect to tweak control schemes significantly on a per-game basis. One incredibly useful customization is the ability to save multiple preset camera positions. This means you can customize unique views for both first- and third-person perspectives. With a button press, you can then switch between them on the fly without realigning everything repeatedly. Overall, UEVR's default out-of-box configurations convert games surprisingly well to basic VR functionality. But taking the time to customize and tweak settings to your personal preferences helps the experience feel even more polished and tailored specifically for VR. Things like scale, height, and camera angle adjustments can be game changers for both comfort and immersion. Troubleshooting common issues Of course, with mods as complex as UEVR, some troubleshooting is to be expected. Here are some common issues and their solutions. 1. Graphics only displaying in one eye. Switch rendering method to synchronized sequential. 2. Characters appear too small or distant. Adjust camera forward backward slider. 3. HUD elements block view. Fine tune world scale settings. 4. Game crashes on launch. Lower in game graphic settings significantly. 
As you can see, much of it comes down to adjusting performance impacting graphics settings. Don't be afraid to really rack it down equality for playability. I'd also make sure to keep your GPU drivers updated for the best compatibility. The UEVR developer Preydog and the community are very helpful in diagnosing other problems too. Experience your favorite games in VR. And that sums up this UEVR Beginner's Guide. With hundreds of supported titles, it opens up exciting new worlds to explore in VR. I definitely recommend starting with some less graphically intense games as you get the hang of modding and customizing the experience to your liking. Have you tried UEVR yet? What games are you most excited to jump into? Let me know in the comments. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more VR content. Thanks for watching and happy gaming!